<clears throat> Hello again, digital artists. Welcome back to Photoshop. We're going to talk about layers in this video. Um, a quick note, though, Photoshop does not have an autosave feature. So as you're working on your project, please train yourself to use the keyboard shortcut for saving. On the Mac, this is the Command S. Or on Windows, it's Control S. So um, if you look in the upper right-hand corner here, do you see this box that says Essentials? If you tap on this, it's going to bring up a bunch of window presets for you. Um, if you, for example, tap on the Painting preset, you'll see that these windows here on the side with all the tools have just changed to the ones that they think are essential for people who are painting with Photoshop. This is a really good place to start because it'll give you access to all of your brushes, also to color selection and swatches, and to the Layers tab. I'm going to close, oops, hopefully close this one just so that the Layers tab can be larger for us here. Down in the bottom corner here of the layer window, you'll see the trash can icon. This is for deleting a layer. And this little kind of strange, tiny square icon. This is for adding a layer. See, I can add as many layers as I like here. To the left of my active layer, there's a small eyeball. If I click on that, that layer becomes invisible. And I can only do an action in Photoshop to the active layer. And that's the one that is shown in blue here. Layers are probably Photoshop's most powerful feature. And I would highly recommend that everybody play around with adding 10 or 12 or 15 layers, changing the visibility, changing the order of the layers, which you do simply by dragging your layer. You see how my hand icon here, when I touch the surface of my tablet, oh, don't need a layer style, and I start to drag, it turns into a closed fist, and I'm able to change the order of my layers. So really try to take advantage of this layer capability. It's very, very powerful. Now I'm going to show you here what the Layers tabs look like for a JPEG image. Remember, this is the Blue Beetle image. And because it was brought in as a JPEG, Photoshop doesn't want you to be able to modify it. So it, by default, makes that image a background layer. And you'll see with this little lock icon here, you can't really do much to this background layer. I can simply unlock it if I don't care to keep it. Um, Actually, I can't do it until I do this first. I go up here to Layer, and in the new part of the menu, I say Layer from Background. Now this makes it a layer, and that lock goes away. OK? Um, this is, gives me the ability to do things like cut and paste and clone from this layer. Now I'm going to show you here, if I use Command A to select all, Command C to copy, now I go into my new project and touch Command V to paste. Now my blue beetle is on layer 3, which was the active layer that I cut and pasted to. And I can move it around. I can change the order of the layers. I can change whether this layer is visible or not. I can lock or unlock the layer. And if I want to, I can drag the layer to the trash. Thanks for watching this short video about layers.